Unlike the previous entries in the LEGO video game series, LEGO Batman opts against basing itself in the title of characters film series, and instead takes its cues from the comic books. Unfortunately, even with over 70 years worth of material at their disposal, Travel's Tales just couldn't seem to find a story worth telling. Indeed. The backstory is reduced to your typical superhero story. The bad guys break out of prison and plot to take over the world, and the dynamic duo, being the ever-vigilant do-good as they are, have to track them down and put a stop to the evil do that they do-do. It's at this point that the fate of Gotham City rests in your hands. The Batcave is your central hub for all things hero. Here you can track your progress, pick missions to play through, as well as catch elevators to different levels of the cave, including a topside trophy room. Gameplay-wise, LEGO Batman sticks to the tried-and-true formula of its predecessors, and continues the fun mix of beat-em-up action and puzzle-solving, and of course, boss fights. To aid in your progress, you can construct suit swappers that grant access to new costumes, each with their own specific abilities. For example, Batman has a gliding suit and a demolition suit, while Robin can take a walk on a vertical side with a magnetic suit and vacuum up loose LEGO pieces with an attract suit. In addition, you'll occasionally get the chance to get behind the wheel of one of Batman's slick vehicles, like the Batmobile. The control setup, much like this game, is easy to navigate. The A button allows your character to jump, the Y button allows you and the CPU or a friend to tag back and forth between characters, and the X and B buttons attack and grapple enemies respectively. The B button can also allow you to construct certain objects to help you on your way. The vehicle controls work similarly. You can boost while moving with the A button, while the X button fires your weapons and the B button launches a tow cable so you can haul felons back into the grasp of proper authorities. The graphics really aren't anything new when compared to previous LEGO titles, but the soundtrack is one of the game's shining points, cranking out tunes that'll totally be familiar to all Bat fans. But even the most polished of games has a few tarnished spots, and LEGO Batman is no difference. The AI can be incredibly stupid and difficult to work with at times, and it's still tough to ju bleh, judge the safety of a jump even if you look before leaping. Finally, one of the best things about these LEGO games is also the worst thing. You can die endlessly without seeing a game over screen, with the worst of it being that you can lose any and all LEGO studs you've collected. When all said and done, I'd say that unless you're either a Batman fan or a fan of the LEGO games, or both, this just isn't worth the purchase price.